Okay, so I got a Cub Cadet CC100H here, and it has a Honda GCV160 engine on it. I've taken the carb apart and cleaned it, and I'm just putting it back together now, but normally you have a gasket sequence, and on these you have bolts that go through, and as soon as you take your two bolts out, all the gaskets fall down, so a lot of times people uh, get them mixed up, and uh, their mower won't run right, so I'm going to show you how to put them back in the proper sequence. Okay, so proper sequence is airbox, gasket, then steel gasket, or sometimes you have a long piece that goes in there, and then another rubber gasket, then your carburetor, then this uh, air dam, then you're gonna put on your plastic heat spacer, and then you're gonna put on your other gasket, and I'll show you exactly how they go. So I'm gonna line everything up here. So let's say this is from your engine looking back out, you want the fat part of this little gasket down to the bottom left and then what we're going to do is we're just going to flip this like that so everything's going to be laid like this and then this piece super important you're going to notice that there's a little larger gap at the top than there is at the bottom and when we flip this over you want this little piece at the bottom so it's going to come wrap around just like that so again when we're taking stuff off like this i'm just going to be putting it here just so you guys know then we're going to have our air dam now on this one, when you take it off, the air dam lines up to that little ball bearing there. We're going to take that, we're going to go just like that, then we can pull our carb off. We're going to slide that off, and I'm just going to set that just like that for now. And then we have, now this gasket here I cut myself because one tore, but uh, that's okay. So basically you're going to have the three gaskets that have the holes up here and uh, they look something like this. So you're gonna have your air box, you're gonna have your one gasket there, then you're gonna have that metal one. Now on this one, it doesn't have the long metal shroud, and I'll show you what I mean when I say that. So on some of these Honda GCV 160s, they have a long piece of metal that comes up here, and that metal or steel gasket is what's taking that place. So on this model, it doesn't have that, but they still have to make up the difference in, I guess, distance, so they just put a steel gasket in there to mimic that plate. And you guys can see there too, that is where the holes are lining up to. So there's that little port, that goes from there all the way to the bottom there. So again, you got rubber gasket, then you got the metal one, or in the case of the other models, it's gonna be the big plate that comes off of it. And then you're gonna have another rubber gasket. We're gonna go ahead and put our carb, and then that hole there lines up to the holes right there. So go ahead and drop your carburetor on there. Now you're not lining up this hole here, you're lining up, I guess, that little ball bearing there, and you just want this piece to be long here and then stick up there. This is your air dam and then from there again you're going to take this piece here and you're going to line that up to the bottom and then you're going to have that top part just like that. So it's going to slip on just like that. So you have that uh, bigger end. You guys can see how it's kind of flat at the bottom and then it kind of goes in angular on the top. So we're just going to stick that right on there. You just want to make sure that that's towards the bottom. Okay and then you're going to take this gasket and put it right onto there, and then this little nub is gonna be on the bottom left when you're putting that on. And then you're ready to uh, put this carburetor back onto the machine.